Yeah. And the Smith players did a video, like top ten thickest Fortnite characters. <laughs> Don't you get any ideas, Nathan? Hey. What's up? So today guys, before I continue with this video, um, I just wanted to remind you guys that today is April 1st and I'm pretty sure something goes on on April 1st where people shouldn't take anything that people say seriously. So just remember that. Okay, <laughs> so yes, you read the title right. Today um, I wanted to go over the... <laughs> The top 10 thickest zombie characters. I had to do a lot of research for this video and it's probably not something that you guys have really thought about before or seen a video on so I felt like maybe April 1st would be a good time to do it. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. I know you guys are excited. I'm excited. It took me a long time to make this. Starting off at our number 10 spot, we're going to go with the Origins robots. And if you look at the footage I've got on screen here, uh, they aren't looking too thick, but you guys have got to remember that these boys are constantly walking. And we all know that walking, it inflates the buttocks. So I wanted to put these guys on the list somewhere because at the end of the day, you've got to give credit where credit is due. Yes, they've been walking across the map for about eight years now, but it could be rather interesting to see, you know, how it ends up looking in another eight years time. It could be, could be a, a completely different story. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like they had to be included in this list for their continuous effort. I mean, I couldn't walk for eight years straight. I don't know if any of you guys could. Uh, and then moving on down to our number nine spot here. This is going to be uh, Leroy or Arthur from Buried. Now, he may not look like he has too much to offer, but he is... He's like, he's constantly hunched over and I feel like... He might be trying to get some sort of message across to us. You know, when these these dungarees that he's wearing, they really make him make him look good. <laughs> um, and one thing that can't go unnoticed is that when you give him some booze or some candy, he really starts to work it. Damn boy, he fish. Coming in at our number 8 spot, this is going to be Ted the bus driver. Again, this may be a character that, you know, you're looking at the footage right now and you're like, are you are you sure this guy is is tick? You know, it doesn't actually look like that there's a there's a lot going on here, but if you look at that box that he's sitting on there, it looks very chunky to me and we can probably assume that that is his bottom half of his body. And not only is that box that he's sitting on chunky, uh, but he can also spin around on it and that is impressive. He is constantly rotating on this, which means that he is constantly working out essentially. And not only is he doing that, he's doing this while driving a bus that is being attacked by zombies. That takes some some dedication and some multitasking and that's why i personally believe he deserves a spot on this list whether you agree with me or not i think it's worth pointing out and then coming in at our number seven spot this is going to be peter mccain anyways uh moving on into our number six spot this is going to be the bit uh the witch from Buried. As much as this woman is a pain in the ass, I think we can all agree that she deserves to be on this list. Yes, the, the dress that she's wearing is a, it's a bit like wavy. God. So you can't exactly work out how she's looking, but I think we can all assume I'm not finishing that. <laughs> she seems to have some sort of uh, thing for grabbing onto us as well. Like when we're running through her mansion, she just grabs onto us. And not only that, she's stealing our money. So there's definitely that to take into account. I'm not entirely sure what it has to do with how thick she is, but I thought it was worth pointing out. She clearly owns this massive mansion because she's waiting for the right man. And honestly, I don't think I'd turn down the offer, although she is a bit scary, so I would 
definitely have to consider it. <laughs> Then moving down onto our number five spot, uh, I couldn't do this list if I didn't include Russ Man. And again, he's one of these people that you look at the footage on screen and you're like, there's barely anything going on here. But what you guys are forgetting is that Russ Man is a very, very, very old man. And looking at the Call of Duty wiki here, it says that he was born in 1939. Black Ops 2 also takes place in 2025 which means he's 86 years old. <laughs> and when you get to that sort of age, you should be thinking, well, you're gonna be a bit saggy. However, this guy is 86 years old and he's still running away from zombies, which is obviously keeping the cheeks active. I highly refuse to believe that even some of the women in this game mode will be looking this impressive when they're 86 years old. <laughs> This is the worst video I've ever made, and that's saying something. Moving on down into our number four spot now, this is going to be Sophia. Sophia is the drone that appears in Gorokrovian Revelations, and obviously looking at her from here, this is a bit of an obvious one because she's a goddamn bull. Like, she is actually round, and I don't think you can get any more thick. As you can probably guess, Maxis is clearly aware of just how thick this woman is because he literally simps over her 24-7. And looking at this, I guess you could say he's done well for himself. Another thing that I'd like to point out is that she is floating. So she is carrying around this, this package whilst flying around the Revelations map. And that must take some doing. Also, she did take her own life to save the universe in Revelation, so I don't know, I guess that adds to her attractiveness. But yeah, she's so high on this list because she's a goddamn sphere, so it takes a lot to beat that, let's be real. Coming in at number three, this is actually going to be the Margwas from Shadows of Evil and Revelations, actually. Can't forget them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if the Marg was a man or a woman, but... At this point in the list, I suppose it really doesn't matter with the people I've been saying. I was actually very surprised about what the Magua was packing on its behind, and if I'm being honest with you, uh, the Magua wasn't originally on this list because I simply just didn't think about them. The thing that made me aware of the Magua's behind was actually this reddit post. Shit, where's the reddit post? Yeah, so it was this reddit post here that says, uh, I ain't gay. But my boy Mark was ass thick. And as you can see, <laughs> anyone who says they're playing for the plot, they lying with all them emojis. And honestly, all those emojis there really help me prove my point that they deserve to be this high on the list. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now then, our runner up here for the thickest zombies character ever is actually going to be... Mama Spider. Now, Mama Spider is that boss fight in uh, Zetsubo no Shima, and I feel like if you were to look up the word thick in the dictionary, it is very likely that uh, they would just show you an image of Mama Spider, to be honest. She is literally the lumpiest motherfucker I think I've ever seen. And in my eyes, lumpy is basically the same thing as thick. Not only is this one of the points that I thought, but uh, while you are actually fighting her, she literally gives birth to other spiders. It is pretty gory to watch, but she literally gives birth whilst you're shooting at her. And I'm not sure what that's to do with her being thick, again, like I said before, but um, I thought it was worth bringing up because... It's pretty goddamn impressive. But before I get into the number one spot, I have a few honourable mentions that I'd want to get through first. And uh, the first one here is Misty. You know, she's got a, she's got a bit of cake. But uh, if there's one person I've seen over-sexualised in zombies, it's her. And it's getting a bit boring now, if I'm going to be honest. We need to find new queens in the storyline to simp over. It's exactly like how every gamer in the world simps over Pokimane. Like, find someone else. At the end of the day, I think we should just leave Misty with JC Backfire. <laughs> Another honourable mention here is actually Scarlet from the Chaos storyline. Uh, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to simp over a whiny bitch. Um, and Scarlet definitely falls into that category. 
uh, no matter what she's packing, I don't want to give her the privilege of of being labelled as tick. Another honourable mention here is Jessica from Shadows of Evil. Uh, she's definitely packing a lot of heat, however she seems to be a bit of a psycho from that intro. I mean, we've all seen it, we've all seen it about 15 million times at this point. Uh, pretty scary stuff what she does to that man and I feel like if I were to call her thick she might come and hunt me down so I'm not going to include her on this list because I don't want to die like this man. We all know the guy in that cutscene he's uh, the biggest simp towards Jessica uh, even Twitter agrees with me so I think we should just leave her with whoever this guy is. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that brings us on to our number one spot. The number one thickest zombies character ever is Sa-